Hi, my name is Carla Holtz, and I'm going to show you the basics of using the voiceover feature on an iOS device. The voiceover feature is a built-in screen reader on an iPad or an iPod, and it's a powerful tool to use to support students who have either visual impairments or even students who require additional reading supports. So, let's first look at how we can turn the voiceover feature on. So, I'm first going to go into Settings. And I'm going to click on General along the sidebar. And then I'm going to scroll all the way down to Accessibility. So I'm going to tap on Accessibility. And then at the top, I'm going to tap on VoiceOver. So before I turn VoiceOver on, I just want to point out that it changes the way in which you operate your iPad. So the first thing is, wherever your finger is, it's going to read aloud what's underneath it. You'll need to double tap to actually make that selection. Anytime you need to scroll, you need to scroll with three fingers. So let's first turn VoiceOver on by tapping on the slider. So now if I move my finger around the screen, it'll read whatever is underneath it. And you can see the little black box, that's the voiceover cursor. So that will be whatever it has selected, and whatever it will read aloud. So now if I want to turn voiceover off, and I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to activate it. So I'll first select voiceover, and then I'll double tap on it. and now VoiceOver is off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the main accessibility menu. So I'm going to hit the accessibility back button at the top here. And way down at the bottom here is this triple click home. So the first thing I'm going to do, again, tap on that. And I'm going to put tap on VoiceOver. So now that that is selected, I can simply triple click the home button to turn VoiceOver on and off. So let me exit this. So now here I'm going to turn VoiceOver back on using the triple click home button and I'll show you the basic ways to operate your iPad. So now VoiceOver is on. I can simply move my finger around the screen and it will read aloud whatever is underneath my finger. Now that clock is selected, I can simply double tap anywhere on the screen. So this is very powerful for students who are visually impaired. They don't need to be able to see where they have tapped. So I can double tap now and it will open up the clock app. And anytime I want to exit an app, I'll simply hit the home button. If I want to swipe to the next screen, I'll use three fingers and I'll swipe across. Same thing if I want to swipe back, it's three fingers swiping back to the towards the right. Now, another way that this can be used to support students is as a reading support. So, let me open up iBooks. So, I'll just tap on it, iBooks and then double tap to select it. So, as you can see, here is my iBook PDF library and inside it I could have uh, digital textbooks. So, I'm just going to click on one of the digital textbooks and then double tap to open it. So now that this is open, to have VoiceOver read the text, I first need to tap once on the book to select the actual book area, because right now the VoiceOver cursor is on library. So I'll tap once there, and then I can double tap to activate it. So double tap with one finger, and now it's going to be reading aloud everything that is on my page. When I need to pause that, I'm going to tap once with two fingers. If I need to move my cursor around the screen, I will just move my finger around and then it will begin reading again when I tap. So that has been using some of the basics of VoiceOver on an iOS device to support students.